Mr. Steven Spielberg mom, mother, God rest her soul. Um, I don't even know if it's proper to talk about her or not, but in the, in, in the same interview from 1992, uh, she brought up something about creativity. And in the movie War Games, the man didn't turn the key. There's the number one. In, our, in, in Iranian, in Farsi, the number one is yek. This is from Iran. Okay? He didn't turn the key. The cones, the two cones. That's what the child, what did the child see? He saw cones. So how would he program? Why would he program that? Oh, because cone is, you funnel something into a cone. In any case, there's a lot of intellectual uh, data that goes behind this kind of stuff. And you have to be able to understand and process that kind of information. You have to have the will for that kind of information to pursue uh, the will and probably even the righthood to, for, to that kind of information. Uh, and the thing with war games is there's two individuals that are portrayed in the movie as citizens, as individuals that are doing some stuff. The thing with say terminator it's easy to use the movie terminator as my computer because it's playing the role of a computer um avatar it's playing the role of an alien um uh batteries not included their spaceships it's playing the role of of characters but in the movie war games the two individuals that said break break first of all the guy bad ham he makes a movie in 1983. He's using a uh, 1950s voice. That's an obscenity. That's an obtrusion. That's blasphemy, just like saying framing world peace. That's an obscenity. You're using another. It's an obscenity of a type. This is Batman. This, this is this is Bravo. No, 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 no. That voice was came from a man. It came from at a, at a certain time. It came during a certain series of events. Now, in the movie, it's just being used. It's excitatory. It it, it 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 arouses excitation. See, these are all evolutionary types of wording. This is all prog progressive speech. At the end of the day, I'm a human being. I was a true. Imagine all the investment, all the time, thirty five years of life, and just like that, just kill him. Don't listen to anything. Well, I didn't. I didn't see anything. I'm not the only one that's over here talking about excitatory speech, stimulating words. Nobody speaks about that kind of stuff. There's no books for the children to see. Go up to a child and you say that that's a stimulating idea. He's gonna go what? What the fuck is stimulating sex? It right before our eyes. Well, in any case, Mr. Spielberg's uh, mother spoke about creativity. Mr. Spielberg make, made a movie about characters. Uh, and he himself is out there fighting a war with the rest of the individuals out there. Um, for whatever reason, you guys thought it was a good idea to uh, uh, pounce on gen a small group of people's genetic uh, bloodline or some. What is this? The lab? And smoking what now? I've been talking about the same stuff with the same group of people for the last two years nonstop. And then what are you people? This is something that needs, you need to be happy there's someone to, stimulating, that's a reality. You want to start pointing fingers? I'm going to stick my finger right in your eye about missing, about stimulating reality going right under your nose. Not to mention risking all the electrical errors and all the electrical freaking mayhem you guys cause on the fucking internet. You don't even know what you guys are talking about. You can't trust your system. You don't know what the word... 
banana stands for in China. You don't know what the word banana stands for in China on an upside down Wednesday from right after school. You don't know what the banana stands for on its way to school or coming back from school. Does the banana matter? Where did the banana come from? You all you guys know the banana came from somewhere. It's my grandpa and it's hell. So is that a no? Is that a no? Is that a no? Ice. Hell. Ice. Oh, beep, beep. Oh. But then you have the evolutionary family, the Persian Armenians, the Iranians, and the Israelis, and the Mexicans, and the blacks, all right here in your guys' face.